Hey friends, it's Diana with See You On Founder with Shea Bath, and we're coming on for your one minute skincare tip. We're trying to do this for 30 days. So far, we're on 10, day 10. All right, so we're going to keep it rolling, give you information that'll help you make you better decisions, you know, as far as what you're using on your skin, definitely for winter skin, summer, what have you. So today, as you can see from our title, we're talking about how many skin care products should you really have. And the reason why I ask that is because we always seem to be flocking towards trends, spend a lot of money on things that we think work for us and end up spending money and keeping things in our cabinet that really don't work. So you want to really think about what's best for you. What do you need? You need you, know, you need to ask those questions. What is it that I really have the need for? Is your skin condition something that you know you need medical assistance for before you make that purchase for this thing that you think really helps you? Um, what else do we have here? Are you allergic to any of the things that are part of the product that you're about to buy? That is always something to be considerable about because you don't want to be using stuff that you know you can't be in your alcohol and everything you buy is alcohol based. Although it's the latest trend and you know, you have to have it, see if it works. Um, and if none of those things apply, then go for the product as long as you can afford it. You know, hey, nobody's stopping you. It's your money. Do what you want. But make sure that you use your product for 30 days or longer, so that way you get the benefit of what the product is that you're using. Now, after those 30 days, it doesn't seem to be working for you. Either give it away or get rid of it. Don't keep things around that you're not going to use or didn't weren't useful for you, because now you're holding back Excuse me, from finding something that could be actually beneficial for you. Um, what else do we got there? I said, I say this wholeheartedly because I know for myself when I became natural, anybody that goes natural knows you become a product junkie because, you know, you're thinking about the texture you hear, you want your hair this way, you want it curly this way, and you're looking at other people. Same thing with the skin. You know, you might see somebody that has dewy skin, um, you know, baby's bottom skin, soft, what have you, you want to use the same kind of product. And then it turns out the product doesn't work for you. Not every product that works for one person works for you. So yes, a lot of this stuff is trial and error, but you don't want to be stuck with a bathroom full of products that you use or never use and spend a lot of money and still have whatever skin condition that you have. So that's your skin tip for today. Really evaluate what you need. Um, do you need medical assistance for what it is that you're trying to take care of? Um, are you allergic to anything before you go buying stuff? And definitely reap the benefits of the product that you're going to buy for 30 days or longer. You know, and most of the time they tell you how long it will take you to get, you know, approximately the results that you're looking for for the product that you're using. So take those into consideration before you have a house full of things that you don't use or you never use and, you know, you waste a lot of money. So that's your skin tip for today. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. If you have any questions, definitely leave those questions, comments, and share this out to anyone that you want. Um, questions, again, leave them in the comments below, and we will see you all tomorrow.